So with us finishing GTA 4, I would like to officially announce that we're going to be carrying on the storyline of GTA 4, but in a different groove with the same taste of style. And today we're going to be playing GTA 4 episodes from, is it Liberty City? Yeah, I think it is Liberty City. And we're going to be kicking it off with the Ballad of Gay Tony. I know you might be asking why we're not doing The Lost and Damned just yet. Is that is that right? The Lost and Damned. That's what it looks like it. That's why I'm reading it. But hey ho. We're going to be doing The Ballad of Gay Tony. I don't know why, but I just get that vibe that he is a very similar character to Nico. Not because of the whole kind of facial features but yeah I, I guess the the lost and damned is more about like some sort of a biker storyline we will get to it eventually regardless and uh one last thing just in case just in case you are new here and you're wondering who the hell i am my name is harry and this is the gaming media hub feeling the groove oh yeah i'm feeling the groove baby but where's the music gone i love lc that just means i love liberty city a gun club member i'm gonna take these rookies downtown are you with me hey what's your name son it's Luis, man i don't think that's such a good idea yeah they said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Oh, that was the bank robbery. Say what? The PE4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people. We're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why are we... you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's gonna make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people. Fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you've said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you. Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do. I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night. Motherfucker! <laughs> Oh. We told you not to fuck with us! Oh. Shit! Michael! Say fucking Michael! Uh oh. Get the money! Me and my brother are watching the kids! Yeah, look at me! Yeah, puta madre, man. <laughs> the ballad of gay Tony, here we go. Like I said, man, everything's a little fussy. Well, if you think of anything else, Mr. Lopez. Yeah, sure. Sure, I'll give you a call. Thanks. It's not Mr. Lopez, it's Senor Lopez. Oh, he just binned it. Wow. It's quite really interesting how they're actually, like, linking up everything. I like that. I like that. Yo, what's up, buddy? Hey, Chris? He is a badass, Mr. Luis here. Hey, Tony. Oh, Lopez, Please. sorry. Yeah, there was a bomb at the bank. The place got robbed. Nothing to do with me, I, I swear. Um, some Irish guys. Anyway, um, listen, I'm coming over, okay? So wake up. You hear me? Wake up. I could uh, sense this is going to be really interesting. Hello. Hey, mommy, come with Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I, I was working late at the club. Yeah, mommy, don't be like that, okay? I'll be home soon. Look, I, I gotta go. Okay. Is he meant to be gay? Or what? Who the fuck is 
Sid. It's me, though. Oh, whatever. He's, obviously, he's checking out girls, so I'm trying to... I'm just trying to work out the story. Oh, how are you? I'm good, boss. How are you? Oh, you look terrible. <laughs> That's good, because I am terrible. Fucking wretched. What's wrong? Oh, the usual. Boyfriend thinks I'm a cash machine. One nightclub catering to the rich, mindless crowd. In the city where the rich, mindless crowd is suddenly poor and mindless. Another club catering to the gay and decadent crowd, where the gay and decadent crowd suddenly think... Decadence means buying outrageous new throw cushions instead of getting loaded in a bar. And every half-wit, part-time hood in this city thinking, I know, let's put the squeeze on the club owners. They must really, really want to substitute my inadequacies with their money because after all, they want to stay up all night talking bullshit to morons because they enjoy it. it sounds pretty usual. Oh, thanks for the support. Hey, that's what I'm here for, boss. <laughs> yes, you know, if the bodyguard business partner thing doesn't work out, you should consider a career as a fucking life coach. A what? Never mind. Did you speak to Troy? Is that even a career? He he a life coach? He can't handle working the door at a gay club anymore. He says people are laughing at him. Who's laughing at him? I don't know. I think the little people who live in his head. The ones stuck in 1955. <laughs> oh, I love those people. And what's up with Desi? Yeah, he says he saw you last night. Yeah, and you was holding court with that Chloe Parker until uh, 4 a.m.? I was? Apparently so. Oh, my God. 45 years old, and I get my kicks doing blow with 17-year-old kids whose only claim to fame is that people know better what their vagina looks like than their face. I should be sent to prison, shouldn't I? Yeah, most definitely. What's this money? Did you rob your own club? Tony, I just went to the bank for you, man. I don't want it in the bank. Hey, Tony, the door was open. Man, it's easier to get into your apartment than into your nightclub. Yeah, we have an Oguido policy at the club. Here I ain't so sure. Oh, I love getting racially abused by a spick. Yeah, who's a fucking taco, Tony? Uh, my business partner, Luis. Gentlemen, watch your language. We're in the great melting pot. We're not spicks or guidos or fags. We're proud Americans. Luis, this is Vince and Rocco, relatives of Gracie. And credit is to you. And guess what? We ain't here about Gracie. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 tranquilo, man. Beautiful. Tranquilo. <laughs> That's a start. I guess we don't have to beat you two lovers up. Yeah, good one. See you later. Oh, nice to meet you, muscles. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking whip their ass. Who the fuck were those two assholes, T? Fine men of the cloth. Who the fuck do you think they are? Ancelotti goons I borrowed money from way back. Uh, never mind. Amateurs. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. Are we not, like, gonna go after them and just kick their asses? We need to go to Hercules. Or well, even the map is a bit pink. Where'd the cash come from? Well, tell me you've been running a skim job. 100% legitimate, Luis. You know me. Total transparency. Sometimes I wonder if you brought me on as a partner just to share the blame when the IRS comes knocking. I was investing in your industry and acumen. Don't look for anything sinister here. That's what you say, T. But I'm kind of suspicious. Maybe witnessing that robbery made me paranoid. And maybe it's just hanging out with you. Who the fuck knows? He has a point. It could be all a bit of a setup, you know? Come and partner up with me when the IRS start knocking. Blame all the tax bill on me, motherfucker. Ah, I see where this is all going. Here we are. Troy! Get over here. A very important client is coming tonight. We need complete discretion. Hey, <laughs> you know me, Tone. Don't ask, don't tell. Military grade. Hey, this is serious. He's paranoid no one will buy his next CD if they know he'd rather be singing cabaret than rapping. As if people buy CDs anymore. Sure. Look, I really need to talk blah, to you, Tony. Blah, blah, blah. Another time, Troy. We'll be at Masonette. That was a bit, I don't know, rude, somehow. Maybe the guy got to tell you something. We should all be getting anxious. The nightclub business is going to shit. Forget the banks. We're the ones who needed a bailout. Is that like an underground nightclub? Charming, Lulu. All right, Tom. Hey, Al. Yo, what's up, bro? Peace out, man. I gotta make some calls. You work the floor. I'm feeling the vibe over here. 
Oh, yeah. If you successfully dance with the lady, you'll get a bit of a surprise. You can't get some shots at the bar. No, I don't think we could actually get drunk. Oh, we could go for the VIP treatment. Okay. Okay, I, I see where this is all going. It's a bit of a different vibe. Same city, but I like it. Get a shot, man. Let's just... You know, let's just get hydrated. Yeah, man, it's all on the house. Can't complain too much, man. All right, what, what do we do now? You can tell that like, Louise is like buzzing. Oh, Tony's calling. What's up? I like this fun. I'm told one of your friends is causing trouble out front. Can you go help Desi? You know who it is? I don't know anything about it, but take care of it, Louise. No nonsense. Oh, sorry, baby. Am I going outside? What's up now? Why you laying your hands on me like that, man? Luis is my boy. Luis is his Half boy. Half the people in here say Luis is their boy. The girls all say they're fucking him. I don't care if you're his damn mother. You ain't coming in. Not in them clothes. Not with that attitude. Enjoy looking for a job in this economic climate, motherfucker. Yeah. Yo, what the fuck, eh? Tell this clipboard and earpiece motherfucker to back up, pal. Back up? Yo, what's the problem, D? You asking me? Yo, relax. Go inside. I got it. Yeah, yeah just inside, chill out, man. man. You need to okay. go relax. Later for you. Ah. Nice, shut up. Okay? Jeez. Wow. Downtown's really changed you, man. You too good to take money from me and Enrique now? You know it ain't even like that, bro. Okay, you don't pay for shit in here. Okay, you just can't be looking like you came from selling dope on the corner. You say that like it's a bad thing. Tony, what do you think? <laughs> Desi wouldn't let me dress like that, huh? You see what I mean? Come to think of it, Lou, what the fuck are you wearing, huh? What? Go home and take a bath. <laughs> Do nothing else. Put on some clothes, huh? Yeah, I had a complicated day, okay? All right. So what the fuck? That's a bit disrespectful, man. We out there. Bye, bye, gentlemen. I don't. I didn't like that, T. I'm sorry. I didn't like that. Come on. Club of yours was bullshit. You gonna take us back to the heist or what? That's what it looks like it. Yeah. Take them to the north wood. You know there's a break. Oh pedal, shit. Right? Oh yeah. I've been thinking about this. How many days a week can work those corners? Seven days. Junkies need junk, rain, sleep, or shine. You ain't no postman, look. You a pusher. All those hours? You make more slinging meat at burger shot than risking a bit on them corners. You sound like 5-0. Shit. You think Enrique could get a job at Burger Shot? What's your QH? 76, motherfucker. What they gonna let you do at Burger Shop with an IQ sub 80? They're just about to let me wash the goddamn dishes. You see what I mean now? They don't even have dishes at Burger Shop. All this shit is polystyrene. There ain't another job in the city for this dumb bastard to do. Our there is Burger Shop. Let's just drop you there, fam. Yeah, you on a trial. Or a trial? Yeah, on a trial. Motherfuckers can't find work. What you think Rike's meant to do? Work them corners, man. Work them corners. I do don't mean nothing, man. You guys are better than this. I don't want any of us to go away again. Then come on board with us. We can start selling our own product. Your connections, man. We'll have the whole city on our gear. I took a bit for you once, man. I ain't going back there. You think I put in all this work to go back inside? Oh, no. Oh, Chris, no, we're not doing that, man. To you, L. What the f? Here we be. Thanks, Luis. Ladies L, tell that boss of yours we'll be back same time next week. Yeah, see you, mama huevos. See you later, cafe. Or see you later, cameron. No, I, I quite like them. They were chilled. When we were, like, dealing with the situation, they were kind of all right with us. Um, but here we go. Um, I, I kind of feel the vibe of this DLC. I think it's more of... We're going to have a lot of missions controlled between us, the club, the street gangs, and it's all going to be kind of linked up together. So 
interesting. It's a bit of a different kind of groove than uh, Nico's. Hopefully the apartment will look, uh, I don't know, civilized? Or maybe not. You never know. It might be a fucking tip. Like the one uh, that Nico had when Roman gave it to him. Oh! It looks like he'd been uh, serving in the military. So he ain't a guy you want to be fucking with either. And this is Luis's uh, apartment. Okay, okay. I, I like it. It's a bit... It's a bit modern. It's clean. It's, it's always nice to have a clean flat. And he's got his shoes like in the corner. Luis? Yeah, it's me, Tom. Things go smooth at the clubs? <laughs> Made me wonder why I need you around at all. Oh, great. I might just take a vacation then. Come on, I was kidding. The clubs fell apart without you. So that bank robbery on the news could have been an opportunity for some positive PR. Fuck that shit. I don't need any press like that. Not with the way police treat an ex-con in this town. <laughs> have it your way. See you soon. Okay, I mean, let's just check out the flat for a minute. Okay, so we got out from here. Where's the toilet, I wonder? Can't get inside the toilet. Do we have anything else we could change it? Yeah, let's see what we got. We got anything a bit... Oh! Oh! I like that. He looks like really classy now, Luis. Look. He definitely looks like a gangster with that. Yeah, now he looks like a guy who runs a nightclub. Earlier, he used to be like some sort of... I don't know, looking like a street drug dealer or something. Oh, we got a text. Could do with some help with the um, Mason... Masonette. Come by during open hours or I'll see you at the loft. T. Hopefully I s I'm spelling that right. Excuse my uh, kind of semi-British accent. But uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's hit the road, Al. I like calling it out. Oh, shit. God, that was so close. Hey, come on out of the way, man. Jeez. Practice swing. Sounds like a kinky mission, but I'm not too sure. Oh, where the fuck have you been, man? Yeah, I came as soon as I could. I don't pay for as soon as I could. Sleep with half the women in Liberty City, no doubt. What's wrong with you, man? You're acting like an asshole. You think I don't know that? You think I like being like this? Then what's wrong, T? I fucked up. Good and proper. I work on Gonquin Nightlife 20 years. I beat everyone. Mayors, rivals, drugs, everyone. And this time, I fucked up. I'm the only man in the history of this town with the hottest gay and straight clubs at the same time, and I'm about to lose everything. What are you talking about, T? I don't know if it's that idiot Evan, or, or the economy, or this fucking cocaine, or the pills, which I am not taking anymore, but this time, I fucked up. Oh. Oh. I've done a deal with the wrong devil, man. I'm such an idiot. Yeah, things have been bad before, man. You get us out of it. I fight, you plot, together we get out of it. Sure, but we've never been this fucked before. Hey, you saved me, man. Made me. Gay Tony? will always be the king of this town. You are this town. I sold the business to two different people, and they each think they own the lot. Man, we're fucked. So I'll go tell them they gave you the money as a present. And if they don't like it, I take them to the special VIP room at the bottom of the West River. <laughs> it's going to be very crowded in the VIP room. <laughs> These are not nice people, and there's a lot of them. And right now, you and me have to go play nice with one of them so they don't start sending rent a Goomba into the club. Fuck. It's going to be OK, man. Yeah, whatever. Meanwhile, there's a there's this blogger, this nebbish with an internet connection, bad mouthing me all over town. Do you know this guy? The the celebrinator? Celebrinator? What? I whatever. Come on. All right, who's the girl? There wasn't a girl, man. There's always a girl. That's like the story of my life. We're meeting Rocco. Having two girls in my life. You know, my two little daughters. And a third woman as well. I'm telling you. A house with three girls, there's always gonna be a girl in this store. Yes, one of the joys of getting old is being ordered around by 
five people below the age of consent in Utah. Don't you mean it's one of the joys of borrowing money you can't pay back? He can take my money, blackmail me, put a gun to my head, but if I'm caught in bed with him, it's me who goes to jail. Marco struck me as an insecure prick, but I didn't think he rode like that. He doesn't. I don't think so, at least. You think he does? Well, that pent-up suburban hard man angst? Come on. He's in here. We'll just blast the fool and get over with. Oh! Rock, hey, how are you? There they are, the spick and the fag. Tony, shit, you got burrito breath. You ain't been eating Mexican again, have you? Yo, Rock, you invested in the wrong clubs, man. Maybe split sides is more your vibe. Oh, but a bum. I'm sure I would have found that funny if I spoke spick. Real shame, I'll have to ask my maid to translate for me. Rock, what do you need? Oh, an absolute I need you asshole. To get some information out of this union prick who's decided to get an overinflated opinion of himself. These fucking guys stuck in the 1970s or something. Where is he? He's right down there. Fuck! <laughs> you fucking missed me, you piece of shit. Fucking prick. Oh! Big man! Yeah, yeah, you fuck, you missed me. I'm bitch. gonna get down there and go you talk missed. to him. Like you flag. hit him with some balls when I tell you to, huh? <laughs> you think you can do that for me, Louise? I don't know why he's raising his voice. Like, we could actually understand him. But, yeah, he's definitely like a brick. What am I doing now? Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. We didn't agree I'm going to be playing golf, all right? <laughs> Fuck it out. What are we doing, man? We're keeping our most important investor happy. Just hit it already. Right, let's uh get this right, maybe. Am I meant to do it? Don't pussy out now, Louise. Hit it. Is that right? Ugh. Oh. Oh. In the balls. Causing problems already. Oh, all right, all right. in the balls, man. He's got libel in their pocket. The foreman on Columbus cites their boy. You got more than that. I know it. I told you all I know. Why is he moving it? Damned if I know. Don't Rocco have someone else to hit the batting cage for him? You've met the guy, haven't you? I can't imagine he's got too many friends. Seriously, that guy's an asshole. Is he gonna him? You ever swung one of those things before? For Christ's sake! Smoothly does it. Come on now. Enough of the commentary. There we go. Is that gonna work? Get your fucking eye in, Lou! Breathe, Lou. Remember to breathe. You wanna step up? Be there my we guest. go. Is that better? Ah! That a boy! Again, you in the balls. That ain't it. All right, okay, okay. Jack Duffy with the transport workers. He's getting fat off the other guys. This don't add up. I told you enough already! What is it with that guy moving the cart? Yeah. Where you learn to play golf, Lou? Right here, right now. Needs must, don't. To be honest, I never fancied the game. I find the clothes you have to wear kind of unflattering. Okay, bro. I mean, we're going to have to uh, get a bit of focus. But I must say, I'm, I'm enjoying this, like, really badly. There we go. On him. There you go. In the face. That ain't it. In the you face. Know that ain't it. You fucking assholes. The head of the LTAs with the Messinas. There's no way you're going to get those contracts. Fuck it out. This is so fun. They know where I am, assholes. I wouldn't want to be you. You motherfucker. Oh, what the hell? Uh-oh, we got trouble coming. Get your fucking hand here! I guess we gotta go help Rocco. Hold on, bro. You're messing with the wrong gang, fam. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Take that, motherfucker. Take that. Oh, 
Alright, come on, Luis. We're gonna have to get our shit together now. Just for full transparency, I've got the weapons cheat in. Just so we kind of uh, fully load it to enjoy the story to the absolute max. Rocco's gonna be pissed if you're not down there soon. Kill the mechs and the homo if you gotta kill someone. Uh, we good though. Come out. Where are we going now? Oh. How the hell am I going to get in there? Oh, the other one. Oh, okay. Sorry. My bad. Keep after rock. Jesus. So many of them. Hold on now. Shit. Yo, Rocco, you piece of shit. What you got us into? Shut up, Lou. He didn't mean anything by it. Yeah, keep him out the front. Maybe they'll they won't shoot us. I just love your new friends. Actually, they will. Oh. Thanks, Lou. We have you to say. <laughs> Bro, get out of the way. Why the hell are you in the middle of the road for? Push it, Lou. Come on. We're nowhere near top speed in this thing. Oh, really, Tom? When you become the golf buggy specialist? No, I don't know. Just get us out of here and shut up. How do we get into this situation? Running away from monsters in a motherfucking golf cart? I think you got us here, T. Thanks for that. Death with dignity. Nice. Jesus. Yeah. Shit, Lou! I'm trying, fam. What do you think I'm doing? Like, seriously. Assholes! Don't fucking kill me! Oh, I'll do my best. Can't really make any promises, but hey ho. for these things, right? Yeah. I got a license to kill and kick ass. That comes included within the package. That was a pleasant outing, Rock. Where's that put us with you know what? We square? Square? What you borrowed? At those points? You ain't even making a dent on the interest. Besides, I'm about to have to do all the messy work on this guy myself. No, but I, I, I told you shit. I told you everything. I'll see you girls later. Jesus! I guess it's chow chow time. Come on, let's head back to the apartment. With this piece of shit? Can we just not like get a taxi? It's gonna be much more faster, fam. You know, I'm really warming to that guy. Like a back case of crabs. Crabs are easy to get rid of. Believe me on that one. Thank you for sharing. We're business partners, we share everything. The emphasis is on business, bro. You can keep your crabs to yourself. Sorry, man, but I really got us in the shit here, Luis. Tony, man, you gotta calm down. You're really pushing it. Yeah, well, if you weren't out chasing tail, and this was a two-man operation like it should be, then maybe things will be holding together better. Oh, I'm getting blamed for this now? Oh, of course. Whenever I come to the clubs, you ask me to run off on some stupid error like a chump. You don't ever let me into the serious shit. And you do deals without even telling me. Until it comes time to protect your ass from whoever you got your fatwa of the day from. All right, all right. Maybe I've taken you for granted. Here we are, bro. Rest up, okay? Listen, Lou, would you mind paying Maury a visit? He says he needs help with something. I know he's a bit of a schmuck, but we owe the man money, and I don't want him anywhere near the clubs. I feel you there, T. That guy is a social atom bomb. I'll go see him. Social atom bomb. Wow. The boots number one. <laughs> hey, Lou! It's Luis. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Come here, give me some love right here. <laughs> so what'd you want? Tony said you needed a favor. Well, I look like a charity case to you. Can I plead the fifth on that one? Ah, oh, that's, that's funny. You're funny. Yeah, you're fucking funny. Funny for a guy with all those pecs. She got the lats of a little girl. And man, you need calf implants. Look at you. And, you know, I'm guessing just, just from looking at you, you ain't exactly packing a 10-inch hose, man. Me? <laughs> I make girls wince. Ah, uh, wince. Oh. Just to level with you for a minute, bro. Tony owes you money. Tony's my boss and my friend. So I'll help you out a little. But if you mention my host again, I'll put you in the fucking ground. 
Jesus Christ, man, you pent up. Come on, I didn't mean anything by it. I apologize. All right, look, let's rewind, we'll restart, we'll relax. Huh? Come here, page one, give me a hug. Huh? Give me a hug. <laughs> That's it. Now, where were we? Oh, well, if it isn't my brother the ghost. Boy, what are you doing here, bro? And who's this guy? It's Lou. It's Luis. Right. Well, it's nice to see it's you. Luis, Hello, it's Luis, man. It's Luis. Jesus, you look pale. What, somebody die? Unfortunately not, man. What are you doing here, Maury? I am thinking about moving back home. Uh, you see, I've been hearing some stories about you getting somewhat uh, above yourself. And I'm worried about you. Well, it's don't worry about me, man. I'm fine, okay? I'm gonna be just fucking fine. Jesus, who is training you? Man ought to be horsewhipped. Look at you. You, 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 lumpy. Oh, you look awful, like a, a big pale mess. And you're fat, bro. No, <laughs> you're fat. <laughs> Screw you, Maury, man. You're, 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 you're perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Chiseled, tan, handsome. I'm the dream ticket. Yeah, Mom always warned me that you were a lazy kid. I bet you've been juicing. Of course I haven't. You, me do. Ugh. No, no, no. Yeah, I smell it on you. Fear. <laughs> but I'm back now, baby B. I'm b b b b b b back. Oh. And your life just got fun again. <laughs> Come on, Lou. Let's roll. Oh, and uh, fat boy. You better let your friends know about me, because kibbutz number one is back in town. And this time, it's kosher. <laughs> See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya, fag. <laughs> yeah, he's just, just, just a bit loco. I, I think he's just, I don't know. You know what I mean. You know what I'm about to say. Oh, let's hit the docks. Oh, jeez, Daxies, I'm coming through, man. Oh, we got some very intense shit to hit. Yeah, I'm hoping you mean you got some bosses to move. Something like that. That's about as intense as I'm willing to get for you. Wow, it's incredible. He looks like a man, but he talks like a pussy. Boy, man, you're a business guy, so you should stick to your business shit. Don't get involved in stuff that's out of your league because of some small man syndrome that makes you overcompensate. Whoa, whoa, there's nothing small about what I got going on, Lopez. Do you need me to take out the monster? Go whack that shit on a dashboard and see what you think of it. Yo, yo, you'll think it suddenly got dark in here. I'm talking serious block the sun shit. No, oh, ah, they just don't hold me responsible for your inadequacy issues after that. Uh, oh. Oh, don't take nothing out, bro. Give it to yourself. Keep the monster away from me. Now listen to what I'm saying. This shit comes from the heart, okay? I don't want to see you getting in over your head. For a man of your height, that's gotta be easy to do. Whoa, whoa, slow up, dog. I think you're mistaken in your impression of me. I look like a civilian to you. You look like a lot of things, bro. A lot of neurosis in one tiny package. Kind of like an army knife without the edge. You think because of my lumpy little brother that I don't swing on the dark side? Hey, I never said you weren't a swinger, man. Don't you think of it? You might have seen you on one of them west sites. All right, enough with the jokes. Look, I done three years Israeli military. I seen shit you wouldn't even believe. Yeah, I done three years helping to run Hercules. I seen shit you wouldn't believe. Hey, how many guys got the juice to get into some foreign legion shit when they're 18? You were probably still sucking on your mama's titty at that age. I was doing time, bro. And leave my mama out of it. Things I saw over there were insane, dog. Insane! I'd tell you about it, but then I'd have to kill you right here. I could do it, too, with my bare hands. Wouldn't even think twice about it. But I won't, Lou. I won't, because I like you. And special forces don't even begin to describe my shit. Special sounds about right to me. Look, I came back here after the service, and I changed, man. I changed. He is very, very fucking special to me. Yeah, down to the docks, okay. I mean, he walks like, I don't know. He walks like a chichi man. He's not like all muscled up or whatever from the lower kind of end. Maybe he needs to do more squats. Maybe. Just maybe. Hey, you! 
Uh, what the fuck are you doing here, Maury? Oi vey, motherfuckers! Dude, we told you we ain't in business with you no more. You're a ripoff merchant. <laughs> no more cooperation, my friends. It's hostile takeover time. Hand it over. Fuck you, Maury, you midget prick. You ripped us off for the last time. Let's get these fuckers! Okay. This is action time, man. Let's do it, Luis. Let's kick some asses, amigo. I mean, I like the way he aims. It's like a bit much of the... Like, sorry. I'm much better than Nico. Oh, fuck. What was that about? Hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on. Where is he? Here we go. You should have told me we got somebody with a bazooka on. That changes the game, innit? Where are they? Let's go on the side. Let's go on the side now. Come on, this is over, man. You don't need to die. Run away. These your business partners, Maury? Oh, you're Maury. These guys are gone. Where are they? Get to the jetty. We're going after them, Lopez! We'll be back, Maury. This was a real stupid Here's some bombs, man. Now let's take those bitches out for good. Oh. Those fucks tried to blow us up in a rocket launcher, man. I know, I thought you saw it, man. Oh, oh, hold on. Bingo. I mean, I can't even see the bomb kind of being thrown. Let's see if that works. Here we go. Well, we did it, man. Now you can take me back to shore. Oh, where is Shaw? Yeah, that was a bit of a funny one. Because, you know, like, when you got the grenade and you could see it kind of swinging? Here, I can just see shit. Imagination isn't your strong suit, Luis. Let's leave the logistics to me, huh? Hey, I'm more than happy to leave everything to you, Maury. In fact, I don't want to be no part of any of this shit. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you and Tony are business partners, aren't you? Sure. Well, I own Tony. Ergo, I own your ass as well. Get used to it. Hey, no one owes me, bro. Ooh, I beg to differ. I don't think he knows us enough, though. I think, like, Louise is the kind of... the chilled strong type, you know? He's not all about words and, you know, trying to be extra ghetto sort of a thing. He's more of like, okay, I'm going to stay cool and just if you fuck with me, I'll fuck with you. You know, it's that simple mathematics kind go, of guy. Bro. You're going to get out of my face now? Woo! Sure I am, sure. Hey, you did great. I'm feeling real bullish about you, Lou. Real fucking bullish. Good to know. Hey, you come by soon. We got some more shit to discuss. He just looked the other way and he was like, I'm just not interested at all, fam. 